All right, everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. So let's take a look at the markets over the last couple of days. This is the SPX. So we obviously had the big uh, CPI move, uh, really, really big move, uh, closed at the highs of that day. And then the very next day, uh, Thursday, we kind of rallied and then kind of petered out and then traded sideways. You'll notice here that uh, essentially, the, the voodoo fire line was resistance all day long, and we just couldn't get through it. So that was a kind of a good breathing point. And then the employment numbers came out. The employment numbers were stronger than expected. We gapped down and pretty much rallied back to the fire line uh, from there. So the fire line is a huge level here. And then as we got into this week for Monday and then for today, Tuesday, uh, it's just it just been general weakness. And we started off kind of, kind of light uh, on Monday. Uh, got a little bit of a downdraft, and we ended up closing, you know, pinning basically right at 4,000. And then today, we haven't seen this in a little while. This is what I call the walk down, where the markets, you know, there's no frantic selling. It's just steady, and it's relentless. And this is that eight-period moving average uh, on the 15-minute chart, and it just continues to walk it down, 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 walk it down with a little spurt at the end. And those, you know, on, on days like that, typically, um, in addition to it not being able to push through with any meaning, meaningfulness uh, through that 8 EMA on the 15 minute chart, um, generally too, you'll see the ticks will follow a pattern. And on the ticks today, and this was pretty much all day, Tuesday, you just didn't spend much time uh, above zero at all. In fact, this is the five period moving average on the five minute tick chart. And it's, you know, it, it didn't go above zero till the end of the day. And so on a day like this, you're just not going to get anything meaningful to the upside. And at one point, um, you know, it was looking for something like, uh, you know, could we get a little bit of a bounce? Where was it? Right about he, I think it was right in here looking to see it's like, okay, we came down and let's see if we could get a, uh, from here, a bounce back to, you know, even potentially the voodoo line, you know, just for a quick move. And it couldn't even do that. It just shows you how much, you know, how steady it was. And then from there, you know, keep in mind the Dow here has been the strongest index by far. Um, one of the few that's blown back up through that 200 SMA. Uh, but, you know, it's come a long way, baby, and now we're back to the mean. We're back to the fire line on the Dow here, right? And so that's a pretty important part. That's where a lot of the money has been chasing those 30 stocks of the Dow Industrials, sans Apple, of course. Uh, if we look at SPX, you know, we've had this fantastic rally, and yeah, we're coming back to the mean here. And what's going to be really interesting over the next couple of days is do, you know, are we able to kind of decisively break this trend line or is it going to hold? You know, we're kind of through it a little bit. And we do have some rollover here. And then this begs the question, do we, are we just going to roll over here and die, which is what everybody expects, um, do, or do we get some surprise rally at the end of the year? So I always, you know, First, I like to look at the tape, and I also like to kind of look at what is consensus. And consensus right now is that we're going to die. And and that would make sense. I mean, anytime the VIX has gotten to 20, this has been an area where, you know, the market gets really, you know, really, really crazy here. And you can see the last time we got the buy arrow, uh, we just got another one here. I'm uh, I'm doing giving this a little bit of the benefit of the doubt, meaning that... Um, you know, I'm not, I, I don't have any huge bets here either way. I've just mostly been focusing on kind of day trading. Uh, but the idea here that, uh, here, let me come back over to. So the idea here, the difference right now is in prior declines, the bond market has just been falling apart, falling apart, falling apart, falling apart. And of course, why is this important? Because if the bond market is going down, interest rates are going up, 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 up. And you'll see here that the bond market has basically bottomed. Um, we've had a pretty good rally here, and if we look at TNX, which is 10-year notes, which I know is not a direct reflection of the 30-year bonds, but you know it's the same pattern here, you can see that interest rates, at least for now, have topped out. We've got a very bearish head and shoulders pattern, and you know we've gone from 4.3%. Now we're you know three three and a half percent, right? And this is something that is actually supportive of stocks, at least in the short term. And so I am looking at a lot of what we're seeing in, you know, some of the, like Amazon. Like Amazon right now, I think, is a very horribly bearish chart. But on the other hand, you've got a lot of other stocks like Boeing and, and stuff like that that are doing great, right? So I what I'm looking at here is a situation where tech is just having a big problem here. And if 
if uh, if something where if tech just it's possible we get something here where tech continues to roll over and die, and other stocks you know like Boeing and Amgen and you know there's a long list of stocks that are doing really well here, then we could just end up with markets that are sideways. So I like, in terms of a long trade, I do like TLT long. This is something we've been talking about for a while. Um, the idea that this is going to have a you know a pretty decent rally, possibly into March. Um, we were looking at a shorter term trade with a target of 110. You know, we're getting close to that. Uh, but otherwise, this is a short term trading market, and we just want to be aware of that. All right, hope it helps. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you at the next update. Hey, John here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below. And let us know what topic you want to see us cover next. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified when we release new videos. And if you want to watch us trade in real time using our own money, go to simplertrading.com and learn how to sign up. Good trading, and we'll see you next time.